Hey guys, Mason here. Welcome back to The Sweet Spot, where I create delicious desserts that you can follow along with at home. As always, the full written recipe and ingredients are listed down below in the description box. Also, while you're down there, if you want to join the family, click that subscribe button and you get two new videos every week. Today, we're going to be making a caramel apple pound cake. It's so dense, it's so rich, it's so moist, and it's so delicious. The brown butter and the brown sugar make all the difference in the world with this pound cake. So if you want the recipe, stick around and we'll get started. To get started, we have a list of our ingredients. Half a cup of granulated sugar, and half a cup of brown sugar packed, three large eggs, one and a half cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of kosher salt, three Granny Smith apples chopped cubed, one cup of brown butter, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Let's get started. So what we're gonna do is something super simple. We're gonna combine all of our dry ingredients together and in this case, we are saying the brown sugar and the granulated sugar are dry. Looking perfect. And then in a larger bowl, we're going to combine our wet ingredients, which is the brown butter. Make sure you scrape all of those bits off, the brown bits off the bottom. That smells wonderful. This has been cooled. It's not straight off of the stove. I'm gonna add our three eggs. And our vanilla. Now we'll just start breaking those eggs up. Now we don't have to worry here too much about making our batter too chewy because we are making a pound cake so we want that to be we want it to be pretty dense I just love the brown butter all those pretty brown speckles you see throughout the mixture now we're gonna set this aside I'm gonna get our dry ingredients again we're just going to add in those apples. This is just to give them a chance to not sink to the bottom. I know it seems like this is a crazy amount of apples, but we want all that moisture. Put this back over and then pour it all in. Finish adding our apples. Perfect. Okay. Now, we're going to get our pre-lined, pre-buttered dish. Just pour all of that deliciousness in there. Now we're going to put this in our preheated 350 degree oven. Let it bake off for at least an hour up to an hour and 15 minutes. I actually only had to leave mine in for 55 minutes. You're gonna be tempted to pull this out earlier because it turns a nice dark brown color, but don't. There's so many apples in here that we need to cook as much of those juices as we possibly can. And a skewer test here is not really beneficial because you're gonna hit a bunch of apples as you plunge through the cake. So I would say depending on your oven temperature, a good 55 minutes, to an hour and five minutes. And now we're gonna let it cool completely while we make our glaze. All right, so while our pound cake is cooling, we're gonna make our glaze to go on top. Super simple recipe. Our powdered sugar, three cups exactly, that's been through a sieve. We also have a fourth cup of caramel sauce, 
the milk is just going to be to thin out the consistency however thin we want it we want to keep this pretty thick so I would say it's probably going to take between one and two tablespoons we have one teaspoon of cinnamon and one Granny Smith apple that's been cubed pretty small because this is going to go on the top so we don't want it to be too thick all right let's get started all right we're just going to chuck everything into our bowl just throw all those Granny Smith apples in. Our caramel, look how gorgeous. We're also gonna reserve some of this to go on the top of our cake. Now let's go ahead and give that a mix together. Alright, toss in our cinnamon. Now let's start with our milk. Alright, I would say that is perfect. See how thick that is? We're going to want it to set on our cake. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And it smells so good. Pile it all on. Some more caramel. You guys, look how appetizing this looks. And then cut ourselves a piece. Oh, look at all those apples. Mm. So good. So what'd you guys think? Those apples that are speckled throughout the cake with the brown butter and the brown sugar, it's just so rich and so delicious. I find a lot of times when I make pound cakes that they can tend to dry out, but with this cake, that does not happen at all. Even two days after, still super moist. That's really in large part due to all the apples we fill this pound cake with. I love that there is a nice simple glaze to go on top of this pound cake because it takes it to that next level super easy to make comes together just like that but it really elevates the pound cake itself and it makes it something pretty to look at not only enjoyable to eat that's all we've got today join me again on thursday for another wonderful fall recipe from my home to yours enjoy